Today I would like to briefly compare two BMW M Division engines, the infamous S55 and the current S58 and clarify how similar and how different they are to each other. The S55 was introduced in 2014 and is found in the following M cars. The F87 M2 but only in the competition package and the CS versions, the F80 M3 and the F82 F83 M4. The S58 was introduced in 2019 and is the successor to the S55 engine. It is currently found in the following M cars. The F97 X3M, the F98 X4M, the G80 M3 and the G82 M4. The S55 and S58 have a lot of similarities. Both are developed by BMW's M division from award-winning streetcar engines for the purpose of motor racing and substantially improved for high revving requirements. Both are 3 liter inline 6 cylinder engines. In both cases, the M division replaced a single twin scroll turbocharger with two single scroll turbochargers with electrical wastegate valves. Hence, in both cases, the M division added a second air intake and a dual exhaust system. In both cases, the M division added a second fuel pump. In both cases, the M Division significantly improved the oil pumping system over the streetcar baseline engine to avoid oil starvation and high G conditions. In both cases, there have been significant cooling system enhancements and the addition of engine oil cooling. They both have a closed deck engine block. Both have steel alloy crankshaft. Both feature similar lightweight camshafts. Both feature very similar 84 mm pistons made from very advanced aluminum alloy. Both feature liquid-cooled intercoolers. So at first glance, the two engines are similar and have been modified from their baseline streetcar engines in similar ways. Now let's have a quick look at the engine designations. The S55's full designation is S55B30T0. The S58's full designation is S58B30T0. At first glance, the designations are very similar which implies they are very similar engines. Please look at my S58 versus B58 video for a comprehensive description of what the designations mean. But in summary, the first letter, S, means the developer is the M division. The second letter, 5, means it is a six-cylinder inline engine. The third letter, 5, in the case of S55, means combination of exhaust turbocharger, Valvetronic and direct fuel injection and 8 in the case of S58, means TVDI engine. However, the combination of exhaust turbocharger, valve tronic and direct fuel injection is also known as turbo valve tronic direct injection, TVDI. So this means both the S55 and S58 are TVDI engines. In other words, if the S55 were launched today, it would also have to be designated S58 based on BMW's current naming convention. The next code, B, means a petrol engine with a longitudinal installation. The next two numbers are the engine displacement and in both cases they are 3 liter engines. The next letter is the performance class, where T means top. Finally, the last number is the redesign relevant to approval, where 0 means a new design and numbers 1 and higher mean revision numbers. Although there have been some evolutionary improvements to the S55 over the years, including the addition of water injection in the GTS, this was not considered a revision of the engine. Finally, the main part of this video is to look at the differences between the two engines. The S55 is a development of the N55, but the S58 is a development of the newer B58TU. In the case of the S55, it retains 75% commonality with the N55, but the S58 only retained 10% commonality with the B58TU. The design of the S55 complies with the older exhaust emission regulation ULEV2, whereas the S58 has to comply with the newer emission regulation ULEV70. The basic version of the S55 produces 425 horsepower or 550 newton meters of torque, whereas the basic version of the S58 is capable of 473 horsepower or 600 newton meters of torque. 
The highest power version of the S55 is capable of 493 horsepower or 600 newton meters of torque, but this is only using water injection. Whereas the S58 in competition package form is capable of 510 horsepower or 649 newton meters of torque with only a tune from BMW. The maximum RPM of the S55 is 7600 versus 7500 RPM for the S58. The S55 features third generation Vanos system versus fourth generation found in the S58. The S55 features conventional mass airflow sensors, whereas the S58 does not have any mass airflow sensor. Instead, for the S58, the intake air mass flow is calculated by the DME. For this calculation, an experience-based filling equation, also known as filling model, is programmed into the DME and uses various signal inputs including intake air temperature and ambient pressure amongst many others. The cylinder head of the S55 is cast, but the cylinder head of the S58 is 3D printed, allowing for the implementation of more complex and intricate cooling passages. The S55 features a bed plate below the engine block, but this is not found on the S58. Engine displacement is the measure of the cylinder volume swept by all the pistons. In the case of the S55, the displacement is 2,979 cubic centimeters, whereas the S58 has a displacement of 2,993 cubic centimeters. In a piston engine, the cylinder bore is the diameter of each cylinder. Stroke length is the distance traveled by the piston during each cycle. Bore to stroke ratio or stroke to bore ratio is a term to describe the ratio between the cylinder bore diameter and the piston stroke length. In the case of the S55, the bore hole to stroke ratio is 0.94 which is close but not the same as the S58 at 0.93. In a combustion engine, the compression ratio is calculated based on the relative volumes of the cylinder when the piston is at the bottom of its stroke and the volume of the cylinder when the piston is at the top of its stroke. The compression ratio of the S55 is 10.2 to 1 compared to the S58's 9.3 to 1. The fuel pump and injectors on the S55 are rated at 200 bar versus 350 bar on the S58. Increasing the fuel injection pressure from 200 bar to 350 bar results in the following advantages. Improved fuel atomization, more efficient delivery, reduced fuel wall film formation, and shorter injection periods. These advantages due to the fuel injection pressure increase to 350 bar have led to improved engine response under high and M-dynamic engine load as well as reduction in particle emissions. The two fuel pumps are bolted to a vacuum pump in the case of the S55, whereas in the case of the S58 they are bolted directly to the cylinder head. The fuel pump usage logic is also different between the two engines. In the S55, the second fuel pump is mostly engaged above 3000 RPM to assist the first fuel pump, whereas in the S58, the two pumps alternate every 30 seconds and also operate simultaneously at high engine demand. The S55's engine cover serves a typical protective purpose, whereas in the case of the S58, the engine cover is also the intake muffler box and contains the intake filters. The S55 has two intake air filters, whereas the S58 has four completely different intake air filters. The S55 exhaust system features two additional underbody catalytic converters, i.e. there are a total of four catalytic converters. But in the case of the S58, it features two underbody particulate filters after the two catalytic converters. The S58 is a much more compact design compared to the S55 and features more compact belt drive and ancillary component area. Both engines charge air coolant capacity is approximately 4 liters of coolant. But whereas the S55 features an 80 watt electric coolant pump, the S58 has a much more powerful 130 watt electric coolant pump. The S55 has a pendulum slide type oil pump, but the S58 has a much more capable spur gear pump with integrated twin oil return pump and map control. In my opinion, the M division devoted much more effort in improving the oil supply and scavenge systems of the S58 over the B58 than they did with the S55 over the N55. The DME of both engines is made by Bosch, 
but the S55's model is MEVD17.2.G and the S58's is a more modern model DME8.6.S. This is just a quick comparison between the two engines and there are obviously a myriad of other differences and similarities between them. For example, the intake valve's diameter is 32mm for the S55 and 30.1mm for the S58 and the exhaust valve's diameter is 28mm for the S55 and 28.5mm for the S58. It is also to be expected that the N55 and S55 engine shortcomings in terms of reliability were addressed with the B58 and S58 development, so the new engine should be expected to be more robust compared to its predecessor. The main point is that the S58 design results in noticeably increased performance over the S55 while at the same time meeting stricter emission regulations. It accomplishes this not with a clean sheet design, but with an evolution of the previous engine, proving that the S55 was also a remarkably good design for its time. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. And I also hope it was interesting. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the video and the two engines and what future videos you would like me to make. As always, thank you to all of you who watched this video and to all of the subscribers. See you in the next one.